Okay, working on our fly fishing tackle box, little wooden box made on the CNC router. Focus is really on design. Step one is all your initial sketches in your notebook. You want to make sure you got you have your wood available so you get your wood out of the wood stock. Then you create your CAD files in Inventor. And now we're going to take these CAD files into Mastercam to cut them on the CNC router. I want file open. I'm going to open that file I created. Remember I saved it under my name, under tackle box. I have to select all files down here. It was part six, and there's my part. Here's fit screen. So there's my box. And what I want to do over here before I do anything else is I want to go machine type, router, techno servo. That pulls down my property manager. Under that, I can set my stock up. We said the bits in the lower left corner. Y direction was about 4. X was 12, 2 inches longer than the actual project. So I had some room to screw the board down. If I want to see it, I hit. OK, so there's my wood box from Inventor. And what I want to check here is if I go up to the isometric view, I want to be able to see that it goes down. Remember, my bit was set right here. And I'm cutting down into my wood. So that's why it's so important that you created an XY plane and extruded it down. Okay. Um, and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to X form, I'm going to offset. And all I'm going to offset is an eighth of an inch. And that offset is going to be the blade width on the table saw. So I can cut these two parts apart. Okay, so I'm going to offset this line an eighth of an inch. And my table saw blade's gone right down between the two. Okay, clear colors. And then now what I'm going to do is copy this whole drawing, this whole part over here. So to do that, I want to go X form, drag, select the entity you drag. I select the whole thing. It turns yellow. I'm done selecting green ball. This is highlighted to say copy versus move. Select the translation point, so I'm going to snap in the lower left corner. I'm going to snap it right there, and there's my second part. Check mark, I'm all done. Clear colors, fit screen, and there are my two parts. Tool path it. I go up to tool path, we cut the pockets first. In the pockets, we'll select it with the window. I want this and that to be pocketed. And then the the tool is going to be a quarter inch straight bit, flat end mill, and then the feed rate is 60, and a plunge rate of 30. Hit the blue check mark to save those settings. Holder. I stepped through all of these. These are all okay right now. But entry motion, finishing, lead in, lead out. It's good depth of cut. I definitely cannot cut more than the diameter of my bit in one pass. I'm actually going to be a little more conservative and set that at point 0.2. Save that setting with the blue check mark. Right through linking parameters. I want that on absolute. The depth of cut is always in negative because I set 0, 0, 0 as my origin. The top of the board, so this is negative 0.5 depth. And then the toolpath did all. Let me verify it with this button. Before I do that, I go to isometric view, fit screen, and then here's verify. See if it cuts out those two pockets. It does beautifully. So then the only next thing I need to do is cut the holes out. I'll go tool path, drill, uh, diameter is a quarter inch. All eight holes selected. And then the tools, a quarter and a straight bit. Feed rate, we'll turn that down a more. Yeah, make that 60 as well. So I'm, that's good. Depth the cut, we'll make these all absolute again. And then the depth is negative 0.5. That's good. 
So those four, eight holes are all cut, the pockets are cut. Okay, then the last tool path is cutting around the outside. Make sure it's pretty well square. Um, a couple of things I've done here is if I toggle this, that shows all the tool operations. So I toggle it to take them off so I can see what I'm doing. I went back to my stock setup and deselected displaying the property so I could see it. And I drew a line from here to here and another little line from there to there. And now my tool path is a contour. I'm going to use a chain this time. I go around counterclockwise. See the green arrow goes to red right there. If you zoom in on that spot, you could click across there and click there. We'll go back to fit screen. There's a red arrow there, down. Kind of have to walk it all the way around. So let me zoom in here to this little leg. Doesn't know which way to go, so I gotta click on that. Then on that, zoom back out, click it. Now they're closed. And then I go through my property manager again. Again, this is going to be a quarter inch flat mill with a feed rate of 60, plunge rate of 30, blue cross to save that setting, holder, cut parameters. I'm going counterclockwise, so my bit has to be on the other side. Going counterclockwise, the bit, the scrap, the sawdust is all outside of my part. Very important step right here. So if that arrow is going counterclockwise around your part, you don't want to cut up your part, you got to select right here. Depth of cut, again, very important, or you'll break a bit. This has to be about 0.2. Blue check mark to save. Lead in, lead out. I'm going to turn that off. Breakthrough, multi passes, tabs, and then all of these should be absolute. And we'll go almost that distance, but I'm going to go 0.72 instead and finish the last cut with the bandsaw so I have a way to hold it down. There it is. I want to select all three of my operations now. The order is important as well. I want to verify in an isometric view, fit screen, play, two pockets, four holes, and it cuts it out. It doesn't cut all the way through. I'm going to cut that last little bit on the bandsaw to make sure everything's square. I'm going to cross cut right down there with my chop saw. Uh, top view, then I go to G1, which takes all this information. And I'm going to post it, so it takes all of these vectors, converts it into numeric code, computer numeric code. Save it on my flash drive. Let's see, you want to save it on, on the flash drive. We'll call it, you know, Schwartz, uh, Jackal Box. Something like that. Now it's taking all that information and converted it into this code right here. And this is numeric code. I go out to the CNC router and then I'm going to run this part and then we'll machine it from there.